I've got a little something on my mind today and it's made it difficult to work. So I decided to stop for a couple of minutes and just get this, get this off my chest. This morning, I'm getting ready for the day. I'm ready for the day. And usually me getting in the shower, mucking around has woken the kids up. This morning, they just keep sleeping. They do not get up. You know, I'm like, okay, whatever. Well, we'll have breakfast, we'll get to school whenever we get there. Clearly they need the sleep. So they get up, we have a lovely morning. I make eggs and toast for breakfast. We're eating, we're having a great time. And uh, we're getting ready to go afterwards and Liam's like, You know, he's clearly there's something bothering him. I'm like, hey, bud, you know, you want to go up and like try to floss again? You should be, you know, clearly we need to get something. I was like, no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. And then another minute goes by and suddenly like, he pulls in this big thing and like, Pleh! just not right spits right on my floor. Just like it's totally normal. And I'm like so taken aback. I don't even know what to say. I'm like. You know, just like that slow-mo face thing where you're like. Right? So that's kind of what I do. And what I want to say then, then like I kind of like end up choking on my own words because what I want to say is, what do you think we raised you in a barn? But wait, we did. One of the great joys of motherhood has been stolen from me. I cannot accuse my child of being raised in a barn. Because he is. I've known this was coming for several months and I've been, you know, concerned that when the opportunity arose to use that phrase, I would be traumatized by my inability to use that phrase. It's a mother's right. But it happened this morning, and I'm telling you, I'm, I'm devastated. I'm devastated, really. It's, it's a terrible thing not to be able to just, you know, hurl that at your children. What do you think we raised you in a barn? Can't go there. Because we literally did.